How's it going guys? Welcome to Siki TV and today I'm going to be showing you a video on how to update your Bose Bluetooth wireless headphones and the headphones I have are the Sound Sport uh, headphones that I just recently bought. I apologize for my voice. I have a little bit of allergies right now so bear with me and um, when you get these headphones you have the option of downloading the Bose Connect app from the Play Store and when I did that um, it did an update for these headphones and after the update uh, the audio quality was really really bad I've tried disconnecting I've tried wiping uh, Bluetooth I've tried unpairing and pairing and I'm using the Galaxy S8 Plus and the uh, audio quality was really bad it was really distorted and just awful and they sounded perfect before so uh, I started looking on the internet and found a fix so uh, what this requires is for you to go to uh, btu.bose.com and once you get to this website it's going to uh, prompt you to download the uh, Bose device updater software so you download that you install it pretty simple and um, another thing you got to make sure on your headphones if you have the Bose Connect app go ahead and make sure the voice prompt is on and what you're going to want to do is just plug them into your computer using the USB cord and once you get to this page um, let's go ahead and back out to reset everything so once you get to this page you're going to uh, it's going to bring you to a normal uh, updater page and see if I can get back to it so when you first get to Bose it's going to bring you to the uh, updater and of course like I said it's going to do the uh, prompt you to download it and once you get over here you have your headphones plugged in it's going to say it's probably up to date um, so while you're here, you're going to hit a couple of keys. You're going to hit A as in Apple, D as in David, Victor, V as in Victor, up and down. And once you do that, it's going to bring down a drop-down page right here and allow you to go between different uh, firmwares, firmwares for you to downgrade on. The latest one is 1.3.0. And uh, that's the firmware that it got updated to and just totally messed it up. And I tried going to 1.2.18, still had the problem. So I went all the way back down to 1.1, 1.5. And the uh, problem is no longer there. So uh, this is a good way for you to downgrade your firmware. I'm pretty sure this might work with other headphones that you got that have firmware updates. But... Um, right now I'm just doing the sound support one so I went ahead and clicked the first one and you would hit apply changes and a progress bar would pop up over here showing the percentage of it and telling you not to unplug your headphones once it's done it'll be at a hundred percent and your headphones will be ready to go unplug them and um, yeah, I haven't had the issue since I tried listening to them and they sound just like they did out of the box so I'm happy with that and uh, as far as updates I don't know what kind of changes they brought but they work great so I'm gonna go ahead and keep them like that since I have problems uh, with the uh, latest update so I just wanted to go ahead and do a quick tutorial uh, for you guys that way you can see for yourself on how to do it and I will post a link in the description down below for the website and the actual keys to type in to get to this drop down menu so don't forget to uh, subscribe, uh, hit that thumbs up if you found this useful. Um, if you have any other questions, comment down below or uh, issues on the headphones, how you liking them, stuff like that. Uh, give me your thoughts. Um, I like these headphones a lot. They're pretty good. They sound excellent. I wish I had a little bit more playtime. Uh, last night I got about five hours of playtime, but then I was turning them off and on and resetting them and stuff like that. So maybe I might get more tonight. But uh, anyways, uh, let me know what you, what you guys think, um, and I will see you guys in the next one.